Hey guys, Gator Mom here. I hope you're having an awesome day today. I'm going to be sitting down and doing kind of a chit chat video sharing with you all of the January releases from GGB. Hey friends, I hope you're having a great day. I'm excited today to be sharing with you the January releases from GGB. I have been wanting to share this video with you for the past couple of days. I've had a little bit of an intense weekend. I had a little one that was sick. I had to take him to the ER. He gave us a little bit of a scare, but he is 100% okay. He is home. We are all resting. Um, two out of the three kids are back at school and we are all doing okay, back to normal, as normal can be. So I apologize for the little bit of delay of this video, but I'm excited to be sitting down and sharing with you all of these beautiful bags from Jujubee. This is a super awesome release. It's a release that I'm really excited to share with you because these bags are gorgeous. It's one of my favorite releases in a really long time from Jujubee. There's tons of different prints. They have a new bag um, from their Ever Collection that is launching the mini backpack. So more than ever, I would love to know in the comments below what you guys want to see as far as packing videos. I already have some that I want to share with you for sure. Um, but as always with any of my first look or unboxing type videos, um, let me know what you guys want to see most so that I can gauge um, what you know you guys want to see interest wise. So I'm going to start with the Ever Collection. I know there's been a bunch of content out there from the other Jujube content creators with all of their bags that they've gotten in. I have a couple of bags that I haven't seen out there um, yet. So hopefully I'm showing you guys some stuff that you haven't seen yet. Um, because I think that it will help as far as release night, which is coming up in just a couple of days. So like I said, I want to go ahead and start with the Ever Collection bags because they are so pretty. I am obsessed with the Olive. That is my favorite out of the Olive and the Lumineer, which is the two new colors that have come out in the Ever Collection. But what I have here, and I actually have it all packed up <laughs> because like I told you guys kind of over on my Instagram when I got the box in that I could not wait to do an unboxing this time. I wanted to do just kind of like a first look type video instead. But I have been using this mini backpack since I got it because I love it. I've been using this one and then this um, Super B, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. But this here is the mini um, ever backpack in the olive and the black and I love it. It's my favorite colorway out of all of the um, ever bags and the colors that are coming out. There's a lumineer and a black that's coming out. There's an all black. There's a red which I actually kind of am being drawn to. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the red that's coming out. It's a little bright. I don't know if I can pull it off, but I think it's super cute as far as like a Disney backpack or just like a fun pop of color. So I'm leaning towards possibly getting that one too. But I really, really like this olive and black. I have it all packed up. I've been carrying it. I think that this olive is just a really pretty olive. It's um, a little bit kind of darker than I thought, but I like the sheen that's to it. It's definitely not like a glittery or like sparkly or anything like that. It just has a really, really good look to it. I, I like the way that the camera's picking up the color on because I think it's a really good true color of what this olive looks like. I just think it's a really cool olive. I love the black matte hardware that they chose to do with it. And then of course on the back here, the straps are black and I love it. The hardware also on this mini backpack is really like strong and sturdy and it's easy to adjust it, which I've noticed, which I really like. So another thing with this backpack is sometimes with like the faux leather, you'll notice that it's really stiff and kind of like, I don't know, it's like uncomfortable to wear almost, but this one's a really, really soft um, material. I don't know if you can, I mean, you can't really like obviously tell how it feels in the camera, but it's just a really, it's a really soft and comfortable um, material to wear. So I'll kind of give you a sneak peek on how I have it packed up right now. But this is a bag that I plan to do a full um, packing video on because I love the way it packs up. So in here, I actually have all of my medium set pieces packed up inside. So I actually have four medium set pieces. These are the new ones that are coming out. Um, I have the Whimsical Whisper and the Sakura Dust and then some of the other set pieces. I think it packs really, really well and I still have room for my Simplified Planner back there. So I think it works really cool. It packs up awesome. I have like a spot for everything in there and I can't say enough about it. This is like my favorite piece from this launch for sure. So that is the Ever Mini Backpack. I also went ahead and got the um, Ever Backpack in the 
olive color because I, this is the first time I've ever had this ever backpack. I haven't actually seen it in person. And let me tell you, I'm actually surprised at the size of it, seeing all of the videos and the pictures. I've never seen it in person and I was expecting this massive backpack. Don't get me wrong, it's a big backpack. Like I'm not trying to like play down the size by any means, like it's a large backpack, but I was anticipating like a massive backpack and I think it's a really good size for like an everyday backpack. Like I don't think it's too big to like wear every single day. Like I love the size and I cannot wait to pack it up. And this olive color, like I don't, I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I really, really like this olive. So this is the ever backpack in the olive and it's really cool how it just, I mean, the color is super pretty. It also has the black hardware. It has the um, black zippers throughout the bag. And I think that it's just gonna pair really, really cool with all of the accessories and the colors that are coming out with this, um, with this particular launch. So I will do a full packing video on this as well. I'm not gonna go through the bag in detail. I just wanna give you guys a really good shot of what this particular bag looks like color-wise, and then I'll give a full in-depth review of all the pockets and everything when I do the packing video. So that is the backpack in Olive. Um, my favorite of the Ever B sets that are coming out is it has to be probably the Olive and the Plum. Those are my, my absolute favorite. Of course, like the Olive, because I've been like ranting over the Olive, is so pretty with this um, matte kind of black hardware but the plum is stunning. I love, love the plum. The plum has the rose gold hardware here on the front, and it also has it, I didn't even actually take it off the zippers here to show you guys. Let me see if the inside, I'll show you all the pieces of the plum. Um, let me pull the medium out here. This here is what the medium piece looks like. Oh, uh, let me see, I can't actually get the zipper off. I wanna show you one of the zippers, but I didn't unwrap the zippers, but they're actually wrapped really, really well. But this here is what the medium looks like, and the zippers are also like the rose gold hardware, and it's it's so pretty, y'all. Like, it's it's just absolutely stunning. It's, it's my favorite, like I said, the um, olive and then the, um, the plum are my two favorite as far as the Ever Collection sets and then I'll show you kind of what the small looks like. My opinion on these sets is that they're made really, really well. Again, the material is super, super soft, so I really think they're gonna wear well. Um, and they're like the same size as your normal sets. The inside is like the gray um, Ever Collection lining. And so that right there is the plum. I definitely highly recommend this one. I think it looks really, really good by itself. So. That there is the Ever Collection stuff that I wanted to touch on. The next thing that I want to show you guys has to be my favorite print that they are releasing, and that is the Whimsical Whisper. I love it. I got a couple of the um, like travel type bags in this print. Let me kind of reach over here. I got the Super B and the um, Starlet for like my like bigger bags, if you will. I love this print. I think it looks really good on the big bags and the small bags. Um, I love all of the contrasting colors, this orange, this kind of peachy color. It looks so good paired with this olive color. It's amazing. And these pieces look so good inside of the olive collection, um, like as in the Ever Collection. It's such a good match. It's a really, really pretty print. The lining, which I'll show you guys too. It's my favorite. I know that like everybody's kind of like mixed review, like either you love the Sakura Dust or you love the Whimsical Whisper, but this by far is my absolute favorite um, out of both of them. This here is the lining. It's kind of that same like legacy lining, I guess, the like um, mushroom kind of lining, if you will. So here's this one. Love it on the Super B. I carried it all weekend. This one and the, um, the the backpack. It's my favorite. I just love it. And then I also have it here in the um, Starlet, which is super cute in the Starlet. Like, I love it as a travel bag. Haven't even really opened it up. Let me see if I can give you guys a bigger picture here of it. 
really, really cute as the, um, the starlet. Super cute. This is the big Jujube kind of duffel bag for those of you that don't know. It travels like so well. So I have both of those. And then I went ahead and got the um, Be Dapper in this one, which it looks adorable in. Like it looks, it, it looks so good in the Be Dapper. Let me give you guys the shot of the Be Be Dapper. So this here is the Whimsical Whisper in the Be Dapper. Awesome. I love the zippers on this print too. The little handle here on the side. Looks awesome. Love it. And then of course the B set is a must have. This like print with like the big flowers, the blush and the orange on the B set looks so good. It's kind of like a must have. So I have this one. I have the other two pieces packed inside my um, mini ever backpack right now. So I don't want to pull those out, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what this print looks like on the set so that you could see it's really pretty. So I love that. The other accessory that I wanted to show you quick in this print, because I haven't seen much of it out there is the be equipped. The reason I grabbed this one is because I love it for traveling. So, um, you have a mini wet bag that comes in the be equipped. And again, this hardware is just so nice. Um, you have the mini wet bag. You also get a medium be organized piece, which is awesome for travel. That's what this looks like here. And then this is a color of the mesh lining. I had a question on that. Somebody had messaged me about that. Um, so I wanted to make sure I showed what that looked like. And then um, you also have a mini fuel cell, which is great um, for travel. It's like the best. These are designed obviously to go with the breast pump bags. Um, these hold um, your bottles for the uh, be supplied bag, which is stunning in this particular print. And then of course this can hold your pump parts and then um, your wet bag, but I um, use it for traveling because it's just perfect. So that there's what the be equipped looks like. So that's what I have in the Whimsical Whisper. And then I want to show you um, the bag that I got in Sakura Adust, which is so pretty. I have the Beast 40 here. This one here, I love. This print is beautiful. I personally am not a purple fan. I just don't gravitate towards like the lavenders and the lilacs and the purple. Um, so my favorite out of this collection has to be the Whimsical Whisper. That is like everything to me, like the oranges and the blush and the gray and the olive. Not to say that this one isn't absolutely stunning, especially on the Sporty. The Sporty is my favorite in this print because you guys look at these straps and look at the hardware and the, I mean, it's just, it's, it's literally gorgeous. Like the bag is so pretty. Um, but if I had to pick between the two, cause I know a lot of you are on the fence, um, between both of these, I have to go with whimsical whisper just because, um, it's just pure, like personal choice. Um, but I did want to show you this one here cause it's really, really pretty. So that is the Sakura at dusk. And then of course the beautiful lilac lining. I think the lining is an awesome pairing with it. And I think that, I think the lighting is really picking up like a good, a good picture of it there. So there is that. And then I have here the heartbreaker. This is that limited um, edition one that's coming out. I have it here in the B light, which is super cute. And then I wanted to show you guys what the lining looked like here. This is like a light pink and it's cute because the zipper here is black and the lining is this light pink color. I'll give you guys like a close up of this one. I think it's, I think this print is cute. I plan to give this one to my daughter. All the hearts on it are really pretty. Close look there. And then last but not least, what I wanted to show you guys is the Butterfly Forest. And this print is underrated, y'all. I think it's really cute in person. I plan to use this. Um, I decided to get it in the B-Packed. And the reason I wanted to get it in the B-Packed is because I have not 
seen a bee packed with the double um, bottle pockets and I love it. I wanted to get it for hiking and camping, obviously the camo, like it's kind of perfect, <laughs> but I, oh, that's like perfect lighting. Like you can really, really see the colors there. I think it's really pretty. It's a little bit darker um, than some of the pictures I think are picking up. And um, I think it's a really cute overall print. If you like camo, if you like these colors, it obviously looks awesome with this um, olive. I think all of these prints go well together. Um, they all just kind of match really well. Um, if you guys want some print comparisons of anything, let me know, of course, down below. I can let you um, see them. I can put, post some Instagram stories or whatever there. Um, but this is really cute. The lining is that polka dot lining, which is really cute there too. And it's really, really cute. So I hope that gave you guys a good picture of everything that's being released. I had at least one of everything as far as the prints that are um, coming out to give you guys a good picture of everything. Um, please let me know in the comments below if you want to see anything further. I could definitely um, take more pictures for you. I wanted to show you some more um, print comparisons because I know a lot of you were asking me about the um, olive. You wanted to see it paired more closely with Whimsical Whisper, which I showed you. Um, you were also asking me about how it paired up close with Sakura at dusk. Let me show you that um, a little bit closer. And then also the plum. Somebody had asked me about that. I'm trying to remember your questions <laughs> right at the top of my head here. That's a really pretty pairing. Um, that looks really, really good together too. So yeah, if you guys have any more questions, I'd be happy to help. Um, and then I definitely plan to do a packing video of that mini backpack and then of the actual ever backpack, the large one. And um, I'm kind of itching to do a, back, a packing video on this butterfly forest too. So let me know what you guys want to see um, so that I can gauge kind of interest for everything. And I will of course have my um, shopping link through uh, GGB in the description box below. I would love it if you would uh, use that link to shop through me. And I hope you guys have a great uh, rest of your day. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.